Hello, hello everyone. Oh, hi. How are you? It's so wonderful to be back here with you today. Um, hi, Jackie. Hi, Sneha. Oh, so much love to both of you. Um, and thank you to the rest of you who are here as well. If this is your first time, welcome. If it's not your first time, welcome back. I'm so glad that all of you are here. Uh, what we do during this hour is EFTs, which stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, also called tapping. If you've ever seen this type of a thing, that's what this is. Um, I don't go into an explanation of how it works or talking about all of the scientific backing that it has. All of that's on other videos on our channel. This hour specifically is just to jump into it and experience it. And you're welcome to do that by commenting in the chat below. Um, we may or may not get to specifically what you comment on, um, but as long as you uh, just lean in a little bit and try it, you'll likely find that you get relief no matter what. And that's just, that has to do with the science of how this addresses stress in the brain and in the body. So really fascinating stuff. I hope you have a wonderful experience today. Um, I got caught up on my email, um, and I had some lovely little chats with some of you, um, but no requests for today. So we are ready to, uh, just dive into everything that we have in the chat. Okay. My earrings are bothering me today. <laughs> I gotta take them off. I, sometimes I really like the, the like jangliness of them, but right now it's just, yeah, I don't want them. Um, and you see these spots on my face. Um, if you're new to tapping, these are the spots, they're acupoints. Um, which are the same points that like acupuncturists use with needles. Not necessarily these, they can. Um, but these are ones that we will gently tap with as we go along today. So if you're not sure where the spots are, um, you can look at me as a diagram uh, or just follow along and you'll get it real fast. You'll, you'll feel comfortable with it by the time we're done today. So uh, if you want to go ahead and put in the chat what's on your mind today, what what has you concerned? What has you in fear? What has you in anger? What has you feeling hesitant or um, anxious, depressed, stuck? Um, even just something that you're like, I don't have emotions about it, but I have no idea how to resolve this. Um, that can work too. It can be a perspective shift that you're looking for. It can be something positive, you know, that, oh my gosh, I just, you know, me and my three best friends, we all decided to go to Hawaii next year. None of us have ever done it. Uh, great, but I'm kind of scared about it. Cool. Let's tap on that. Um, it doesn't have to be some big, heavy, negative experience in your life. Tapping is phenomenal for everyday things as well. I've even tapped when um, I, I just thought, you know, today's a you know this is a pretty good moment, but I wonder if I'd feel better if I tapped. And I tapped just to see for about a minute, like literal 60 seconds, and I did feel better. So... Um, so there's a little snippet of information for you there. Let's go ahead and get centered. And then I see that you guys are commenting in the chat. So I will read those after we get grounded and connected together. So go ahead and tune into your body and just take a moment and see where is your energy level. If you've got any places that are feeling tight or in pain and if maybe shifting how you're sitting will help, or maybe stretching a little bit. I'm going to wiggle my hips just a touch. That feels better. And allow yourself to just relax. It's okay if you have bad posture for just a moment. Right now, we're just trying to send the signal to the body of, we're going to chill out for a little bit right now. So go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. I'm going to take another breath in and out. Give yourself a second to just let that settle in. If you need to take a breath in between, please do. Let's do one more deep breath and in and out. Go ahead and roll your spine back under you so that you've got a good position, but more relaxed maybe than before. And I'm going to put my hands over my heart. I'm just going to set the intention for this session. You're welcome to join me in doing this as well. 
And I'm going to set the intention that even though we are all around the world and having different experiences of life and um, different perceptions and perspectives, that we're all here together right now and that we can connect together with purpose, that we're, we're showing up. We're showing up to participate. We're showing up to participate for ourselves to get this healing, to get this support, to get this relief, to get this freedom, to get this space, to continue to function, to continue to thrive, to continue to grow, maybe to gain some bravery or love or acceptance. And that we're able to reach out and have a positive effect on each other through this hour as we're here together in this connected space. And that whether you put anything in the chat or not, whether we tap specifically on what you put in there or not, that you do get to receive benefits in being here for this hour, that you get to feel stress relief or insight, a perspective shift, something that will help you receive what it is that you're looking to get by showing up here today and that you do have support. You are seen, you are heard, you are cared for and that you get to feel the evidence of that today. So take a breath in and out. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes if your eyes were closed and you can relax your hands down and I'm going to see what everybody is saying today. Okay. Hello, Abundance Crystal and Lula Bell. Oh, thank you so much. Um, hi, Donna. Oh, Jackie. Okay, last week's been a doozy. Spill it, girl. Let's tap about it. Hi, Lissy. I'm so glad to be here, NC. It's good to see you too, Beatrice. Okay, arguments at home. Awesome. That's very relatable. Hi, Shay. Oh, grief. I'm so sorry. Um, losing pets is always so difficult. Okay, so grief, um, anxiety. And Emily, I lost my brother earlier this year. Ooh, then your sister-in-law this week. My goodness, mental health and drug-related causes. Mm. Working through a lot of grief and burden. Larger societal issues. Yes. Oh, the fact that those are attached to your grief is that's that's a heavy complication. So I, mm, my heart goes out to you. We will definitely um, tap on grief today. Okay, a parasites, the skin, and people around you. Oh, skin issues are torture. Okay, tapping on feeling peace. Okay which I've traveled on my healing journey right here now. Okay, beautiful. I think that's a wonderful thing to, to tap in. Okay, depression, anxiety attacks, over inability to pay my bills, bills solo since my partner left. Mm, that's, I've been there, Darcy. Grieving, trying to stay productive in the certification process. Okay, angry about taking care of my mom and not liking it. Mm. Thank you for that honesty, J.O. Oral health care problems, receding gum line, deteriorating teeth. Okay. So we've got some physical stuff in here today. Hi, Heather. Um, does tapping help for specific health issues? So what tapping does, NC, is it, it addresses the stress. So can it directly tap away diabetes? No. But what it can do is alleviate the stress that is exacerbating a lot of these steps that create diabetes. I'm talking about type 2, not, not type 1. Um, so you, a lot of people see physical responses when they allow their body to let go of that stress and really step into that healing process. Being safe in our body to be an authentic self, Okay. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for your contributions in the chat and for already responding to each other. You're the best. I love this group so much. Um, 
I feel like grief is the first thing to tap on because even though some of the things that are mentioned here are not specific to grief, there's a lot of big emotion um, and that I think can really – this tapping on grief can start to break that up and alleviate that as well. So let me see. I'm going to take this down a little bit. Let's see all the spots. Okay. <sighs> So I am going to say this grief. I'm going to keep it very, very vague. But if you have something more specific and this grief over, you know, the, your cat's name or your brother and your sister-in-law's names, um, if it's something else that you're grieving, um, like you can say the skin issue, um, grieving, um, being stuck in this situation, you know, uh, there are ways that you can apply this word or you can change the word out and just tap along and make the sentence fit better for you. Um, but that's where I'm going to stick with it is this grief. Let's go ahead and start tapping. Even though right now I feel immense grief in my body. I'm holding space to be okay. Even though right now I'm not okay because of this grief, I believe that I can be and that I will be. Even though right now I'm struggling underneath the weight of all of this grief. I deeply and completely accept myself. I acknowledge this grief that I feel. I acknowledge the grief that I'm dissociating from. And I acknowledge the grief that I am pushing into other emotions. In all of the ways that this grief is processing through me at this time, I acknowledge it and I deeply and completely accept myself. I accept myself for the feelings that I'm having, for the reactions that occur. I accept myself in being inconsistent. I accept feeling confused This grief this grief in all of its spectrum all of this overwhelm all of this grief I really want relief from it. I understand why it's here. And I can understand the logic of processing and going through grief. It's just so much. It's so much to deal with. This grief, this grief in my body,
I wonder if there's a way to make it not quite as loud. I wonder if there's a way to make this more comfortable to process. Processing this grief. Allowing comfort for myself. Allowing relief as I grieve. Permission to feel relief as I grieve. And if I have any feelings of guilt, I acknowledge it and I give it permission to go. It's okay for me to release that. And if I have any feelings of shame or other emotions tied into wanting relief from grief, like maybe feeling disloyal to memories or that what it might mean about me if it's not affecting me so deeply all the time. Those are common concerns to come up with grief. So it's okay if I've held on to that and if I've allowed myself to feel that weight. But maybe it doesn't have to be a part of my grief story anymore. Maybe that's one way I can feel a little bit lighter. It's okay for me to go through emotional triage right now. It's okay for me to put down emotions and not always process them right when they come up. Processing emotions is good and it's something that I will continue to do. But it's okay if I determine when. And it's okay if I determine not now. Allowing myself space. Being gentle with myself. Being kind to myself during my grief. Permission to be kind and gentle. Permission to be aware of myself as I grieve. this loss. This grief. What's one thing that I can always do if I'm feeling heavy? What's one thing I can give myself to focus on that will help me feel better. Whatever this is, I can figure it out and I acknowledge it and I allow myself to do it. Maybe it's wrapping up in a really soft blanket. Maybe it's drinking my favorite warm drink 
Maybe it's just pausing and taking a deep breath. Whatever it is, I can do this one thing, this one kind thing for myself. This grief this grief in my body. Kindness. Kindness in my body. And maybe I feel them at the same time. Maybe I feel grief and kindness towards myself. Maybe I feel all of these other emotions and compassion. And that's okay. That's possible. I'm a very complex being. And maybe I can't put down all of my grief right now. But I can pick up kindness and gentleness and compassion for myself and allow it to be here too. And as I move forward, I can also allow myself to pause and receive this one thing, this one helpful thing, any time that I need it. And maybe this grief will process more quickly this way. And maybe it won't. But whether it processes more quickly or not, I know that being kind to myself is helpful. And as I learn to be aware of myself and give myself this space, I deeply and completely accept myself. Breathe that in. It's um, not a common spot that we use in tapping and, and the basic setup of tapping, but there is a meridian line that goes straight down the middle of the body. And there are some right over the heart space that are really, really good to tap on for grief. And I tend to feel grief in my lungs. And so tapping here can really help. And if you're already feeling something, you don't have to construct a sentence for tapping. You can simply feel your emotions and include tapping. So just know that that's something else that you can do when you're feeling overcome with emotions. You can just tap. And that's all you have to do. Feel your emotions and tap and you'll get relief in that way as well. Um, Also, just a tidbit, grief is physically taxing to the body. So if you find yourself being more tired, slower, not capable of doing a full day's anything, um, try not to be hard on yourself for that because it is a physical reaction to what is processing through your body. So just be aware that that's a shift that you may experience for a little while too. So I hope that's helpful. I'm going to glance back over at our chat here. Okay. And we've got 
fear as well. I'm going to glance back through it, just remind myself. Yeah, arguments, anxiety, anger. Um, those are some things that have come up. Can grief compound lack of sleep? Absolutely, Dr. Scott. Absolutely it can. Um, for many reasons, of which I'm not going to go into now because, oh my gosh, I will rabbit hole on that for the rest of the the this, but um, email me if you want to talk about that more, um, which is amanda at eftuniverse.com. Um, and I, I can also make a video of it if that's something that um, more people are interested in. So I'm seeing a little bit of a trend of what I'm going to call hot emotions um, of, you know, anger, resentment, um, just something that feels like you know, um, so I think of how to tie those in together. I'm going to use the word upset. So that's very vague, right? I'm going to go vague. I want you to take it more specific for you. So if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling anger, if you're feeling resentment, anything that makes you um, like you have to bite your tongue, like you want to say something, uh, tune into that emotion. Find something along those lines for yourself. Um, and the the skin condition, absolutely, this could tie in for that. Um, taking care of your mom. Um, Yeah. And then, and then others in here, sorry, I, th those are the two that I remember off the top of my head. Oh, uh, arguments at home. So all of that, those are, that's what I want you to focus on when I say upset. And if you've got a better word for that, then replace that in. Okay. So just take a moment and really tune into that emotion and where you feel it in your body and what it feels like to you. Does it feel like boiling? Does it feel like static needles? Does it feel like um, pressure, um, heat, how would you describe it? And I feel like sharing this little tidbit. Sometimes for me, when I feel an emotion that is reactive like this, um, I immediately collapse it and not necessarily in a healthy way, it's um, more of a dissociation uh, because it's not going to do any good to explode it out. Um, so I don't want to react it. So instead I just go, well, what's the point? Like, yeah, I could dive into that. That that upsets me, but oh well. And so that defeated feeling too, if that's something that you experience, you could focus on that. I think that's what I'm going to look into for myself. I um, just felt like mentioning that just in case someone else was was there as well. So let's start tapping. Have your event or your experience, your focal point in your mind, where you're feeling it show up in your body. Even though right now I feel upset. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though right now, I'm really upset. And I want it to resolve the way I think is right. I still choose to deeply and completely accept myself. Even though right now I am upset and it doesn't feel good, but I'm also not willing to let it go. I still choose to deeply and completely accept myself. This sucks. 
being upset really sucks because I only get here when, when things are ugly and it shouldn't be this way, but it is. And here we are. So now what? And logically, I may know and understand that feeling upset doesn't help. But I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do to feel heard or seen or just okay. I don't feel okay right now. And even though right now I don't feel okay and I don't have an answer for feeling okay yet, I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Because why not? It's where I am. But what happens if I acknowledge this? What happens if I accept this? What does it change? What does it matter if I acknowledge being upset? Acknowledging being upset. I'm still in this situation. And I don't think it's right. I don't want to be here. I don't want to find a way to feel okay with it and stay here. I want things to change. It's why I'm upset. And maybe I feel like if I'm not upset anymore, that I'm saying it's okay. And it's not okay. Even though it's not okay that this that's happened that made me upset, I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. I feel stuck. I don't see any answers and I don't see a way of moving forward or moving out or over or through this other than what I'm already doing. And what I'm doing is really hard. It's not what I want. Not what I want. Even though right now I'm upset because what's happening is not what I want, I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Well, I can really define what I don't want. I wonder, can I define what I do want? What is it that I want? Feeling upset.
what is it that I want? Even if it's not possible, and I don't believe it'll ever be possible. Even if admitting it to myself is attached to some emotion of, I shouldn't want this, it's embarrassing, it's shameful, it's selfish, I don't care. I allow myself this space right now to have this conversation with me. Allowing the conversation. Listening to myself. Listening to what I want. Take just a moment, focus in on your body and that place where you feel this upset and ask, what do you want? What is it that would feel better? And as I listen, maybe I get an answer, maybe I don't. Maybe it's something that I can do, and maybe it isn't. But whether or not I get an answer, and whether or not something that I can actually accomplish, I deeply and completely accept myself. because I'm listening, because I'm showing that I care about how this affects me. And maybe some of my upset is because I really want this to be acknowledged by someone else too. I really want this other person to acknowledge how hard this is on me how ugly this is to me, how hurtful this is to me. And maybe they haven't. And maybe they won't. But even if they won't, I will. I will acknowledge my feelings. I will acknowledge my try. I will acknowledge my give. And even though I may really, really want to be heard by someone else who isn't hearing me right now, I choose to deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Because I can't control if someone else hears me. And it's okay for that to hurt. And I can't control if someone else cares about how things are affecting me. And it's okay for that to make me upset. Of course, that's upsetting. but I acknowledge I can't change that in them. So holding that expectation against myself is unfair and not my space. It's not a place that I can govern. And so I release myself of that responsibility. I release myself of the responsibility of being seen and heard and validated by this other person. And I allow myself 
any feelings I have about it. All of my feelings are still valid. But I release myself of the hurt, of the expectation that they're going to acknowledge it or that they're going to care in the way I want them to care. But I can care. I can care for me. Caring for myself. This upset in my body. Validation from me. Caring for myself may be new. Maybe I even feel cautious or weird or resistant to it. And that's okay. It's okay if it's new and it's different. I can still learn. I can still do it. And maybe I'll get it right away. And maybe it's going to be a mess and it's, it's going to be a fight and it's going to be confusing. But I'm worth that. And even if I don't feel yet that I'm worth that, I'm worth that. And I can give myself that acknowledgement and that validation that how I feel matters and how this is affecting me matters. I can be the first. And then if other people see it as well, great. That'll make this easier. But I can start with me. And as I learn to step into this agreement of seeing myself and acknowledging myself through this upset in whatever way it looks and however good or not good I am at applying it, I deeply and completely accept myself through the process. We're going to take a few breaths while we're tapping. Let's do one more. Okay. Go ahead and focus back in on that upset. See if it's still there, how much it's there, less, quieter, feeling more supported. It's tough to go through hard things. And especially when you feel alone and you're trying so hard to enlist someone else to care. It can help so much to be the one to care even though we're not really taught that. And it's it's it might be a different mindset, um, but it's, it's very, very helpful. So I hope that that was useful. Okay. Going back over and let's see. I think it was Sneha, you had a positive offering. And I, I do plan on tapping on that at the very end. So we'll do one more. Um, oh, I'm so glad. Oh, mm, I'm so glad that was helpful. Thank you for letting me know. We'll do one more tapping on uh, releasing something and then we'll tap some good stuff in. Go ahead and do physical. Let's do the physical body because we haven't done a physical one yet. And if you don't have something 
Like you're like, oh, my muscles are fine. My bones are good. Um, that's okay. You can take it from an emotional stance of, uh, man, I haven't been getting much sleep lately. Maybe that's wearing on my body or I've been stressed and I'm a little worried about, you know, the long-term effects of that on my body um, or just I'm doing well right now and I want to bolster my body more. You know, I want to give it more support. Um, one of the many, many studies that's been done on clinical EFT, which is what we're doing here, um, is that within an hour span of time, and this was um, done with medical diagnosis, uh, diagnosis is probably the wrong word, um, tracking through um, spit and blood that through an hour long clinical EFT tapping, um, immunity markers were increased 113%. So, and, and they didn't even tap on immunity. That was just one of the results of the stress relief from tapping. So a lot of beautiful things physically occur in the body just from releasing all of the stress. So just know we're already doing good. <laughs> like we're already really affecting the physical body from what we've just done. Um, but let's focus in on it uh, specifically. Let's, let's point right to it. So whatever you have going on in your body, I know um, teeth have been mentioned, skin has been mentioned. Um, if you've got something like pain, choose, choose an area of pain or a type of pain, joint pain, burning pain, um, try to make it a little bit more descriptive for your brain to, to really zero in on it. And I, I think I'm just going to say my body. Okay. Even though right now my body is frustrating me, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though right now my body is not, not where I want it to be, and it's really in my way, I'm going to try really hard to deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Even though right now I have a lot of feelings surrounding my body, I deeply and completely accept myself. My body these issues with my body. These issues that are in my way. These issues that won't go away. These issues I do not want. these issues in my body. Even though I'm confused or discouraged or upset or all of the above and other emotions about my body right now, I'm still gonna choose to deeply and completely accept myself. Why, why would I say that to deeply and completely accept myself when I'm struggling with this right now? Completely means everything, including my struggle. I don't know about that. I don't know about accepting myself completely because I don't want to accept this struggle. Well, maybe, maybe I can look at it a different way. Maybe what I'm accepting completely is how I feel. 
I'm accepting my experience. I'm acknowledging that this is where I am. And that's what I'm saying is okay. It's okay for how I'm processing this. It's okay that at times it's really unbearable. And it's okay that I have this array of emotions about it. It's okay if I've felt anger or fear or shame or guilt, depression, maybe all at once. However it is that I'm feeling about this, I'm telling myself, I see you. I see you and I hear you and I am willing to acknowledge you. And that's what I mean when I say I deeply and completely accept myself. I accept that I'm having a hard time with my body. I accept that this issue feels really complicated. And I accept that I feel a little discouraged. And I accept that it feels big. Even though this issue with my body feels big, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay. Now what? Now what do I do about this issue? It's great to feel better about accepting myself, but what can I do to alleviate this? What can I do to make this outcome different? Changing the trajectory. Changing the trajectory, the outcome of my body. I wonder, is there anything emotional that's standing in my way? Is there some part of me that's saying, you don't deserve to heal. Is there some part of me that's saying, you deserve to be in pain? Is there a part of me that says, you're safer if you're not healthy? I allow myself to acknowledge if I have emotions getting in my way. Because while these emotions may sound a little wackadoo right now, at some point, they were the best solution I had. And I acknowledge that and I honor that. And that's okay. It's okay that I did my best. And now it's not serving me. And maybe I'm not quite clear on what those emotions are or could be. Or what caused them. Or how to release them. But I wonder, can I start to feel better without knowing all of that? Is it possible to give myself permission to heal now as I unweave these other things? (laughs) 
permission. Permission from my body. Permission from my emotions. Permission from myself to heal. Let's say I could, what would that look like? What would it look like to give myself permission to work towards health based off of right now? Would it be Googling something I've been meaning to look up? Would it be ordering a helpful product that I've been putting off? Would it be taking a small step, like maybe getting a drink of water and noticing that I'm thirsty or noticing that I'm hungry? Or maybe it's simply allowing myself a moment of de-stressing. And maybe I need different types of de-stressing. Hmm, what does that mean? What are different types of de-stressing? <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. De-stressing has really kind of turned into a job. Like it's something you, you got to be serious about. It's a serious, go, go lose my stress. But what if there were other ways? I mean, tapping's phenomenal. Sometimes it's a lot of work, which is great. But what's another way? Other ways to de-stress. Other ways to support. Laughing is de-stressing. Sleeping, napping is de-stressing. Eating delicious, healthy foods is de-stressing. Having a heart-to-heart -heart connection with someone, that's de-stressing. Looking at a beautiful work of art has been clinically shown to be de-stressing. Well, how do I know what's de-stressing for me? Maybe I can start with what feels good. Maybe I can start with what can I do right now, today, this moment, that'll feel good? And as I ask myself this question, I give myself permission to actually go do the answer. And as I continue to explore and find my different types of stress relief, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, and breathe. <sighs> I hope that was helpful and enjoyable for you. Let's do one last really quick tap, and this will be two, three minutes tops. And I love that we get to do this, just an, an energizing, um, positive ending. Um, I want you to take just a moment and see where you are right now. And you may be feeling better than you know where we started, which is great. We moved the needle in the right direction. But I really want you to pay attention to what these last two minutes are going to feel like for you. Okay? So just get, get an idea. Zero, zero to 10, where are you right now? Okay. Let's go ahead and start tapping. As I sit here right now, 
I allow myself 100% permission to acknowledge that I'm awesome. <laughs> even if that feels silly to say, even if there's a voice in my head that says, mm, still going to say it, I'm awesome. And I acknowledge that I've come a long way, that I'm doing some really great things that are having really big impacts on my life. Really great things. Acknowledging my awesomeness. Acknowledging my progress. And I may be a complicated human being, but there are things about me that I absolutely love. Whether or not I even give myself permission to acknowledge that to anyone else, I'm doing it right now for me. And even if it's less than what I want, I acknowledge the amount that I have right now. And I acknowledge that that's really incredible that I've gathered that. Look at what I've done. My efforts matter and they're showing and I'm accomplishing great things. And it is meaningful that I get to be here in this community. And it means something that I'm here and I matter. And I give myself permission to feel that. And I give myself permission to feel joy joy that I matter, that I'm cared for. And I give myself permission to see how far I've come. And it's okay that if I've kept my head down for a while and I haven't acknowledged this, that's fine. I'm acknowledging it right now. And as I accept this joy and these truths, I allow them to fill my entire body. <laughs> and what does that feel like to you? Oh, to me, it just feels like when I step outside and it's warm and it's humid and it just feels like this wonderful blanket wrapped around my skin. I love the way that feels. That's what joy feels like to me. What does it feel like to you? Just really allow that to flood your body. And I accept this joy. I accept it without any restraints or um, any barriers, any requirements. I am allowed to just feel amazing right now. <laughs> and I am allowed to acknowledge my awesomeness without any requirement. I don't have to validate why I'm awesome. I can just be awesome. And that's just my truth. Amanda said so. <laughs> Amanda said I'm awesome and it's true. <laughs> I say I'm awesome. And I acknowledge the truth in that. And as I close for tapping today, I acknowledge how far I've come just in this amount of time. And I really allow myself to feel good about that. And I allow myself to continue to feel this goodness right now and any time that I want. And I don't ever have to qualify for it. I can always just have it. And as I allow this joy and acknowledge myself, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, and breathe in and out. So in just that two minutes, or okay, it was more like four. Um, even if there were things in there that you were like, oh, <laughs> that were hard for you to, to say or accept, or you had a voice in your head that was 
counteracting it. How are you feeling as a result? Did it move the needle for you? Um, if you had a big pushback, something else that you can tap on and say when you're doing a positive tap is say, even if right now I think I'm delusional, even if right now I'm calling myself a liar as I say it, I don't care. I'm still going to say it. I'm awesome. Um, because there, there are different trip wires in your head um, that may be holding that in place. Uh, and that's one way that you can start to build, build around them and, uh, and offer a different perspective as you learn to release those other things. So I hope that this has brightened your day and uh, I hope that you have a wonderful week. Please feel free to email me if you have questions, if there's something you want to tap on that you don't want to put in the chat, you want to stay anonymous, um, please do. My email is amanda at eftuniverse.com. I've got you with me. I'll be thinking about you all week. I'll see you next Tuesday. Mwah.